What's up, guys? It's me, Dr. Kink1135 here, and I'm here for another episode of Either. Now, sorry I haven't been recording lately, it just... I'm trying, because I'm working on something, alright? So, I know this is an old game, but I'm going... Not this game, but... I'm planning on doing Five Nights at Freddy's. Just highlights of it, of each game, where I try to do the 420 mode, or whatever, the impossible chance thing of the whole game. Like, just do the parts where I try. Now, I have all four of them. One, two, three, and four. I didn't say I was good at them, but I have to get to the 420 part on all of them, and then actually record me playing that, and then get the parts that actually matter. I might not actually beat that mode in any of the games, because the phone version is much more difficult than the computer mode. So... Yeah, I'm working on that. I'll do that pretty soon here. I've just been procrastinating a lot, like every other teenager. Okay, end of the video. Alright. Would you rather spend a day with Taylor Swift or a day spend a day with Beyonce? Now, okay, so... Now, this is like, because Taylor Swift's white. Her skin color is white, and Beyonce is black, so, and I'm Hispanic, so, I don't know what to choose, I mean, Taylor Swift has pretty good songs, I'm pretty sure Beyonce has songs with cursing in it, if, and, you know, I'm not a fan of cursing. Even though I do it, because whenever I rage in a game, I sometimes say crap like that. All gamers do that. Some might not say cursing words. Some might do other things. But, um... Okay, so... I don't know. I like Taylor Swift's song. They're actually pretty catchy. And I'm, I'm, except the one that's kind of annoying. It's the ones that are kind of annoying. Beyonce, I guess... I really haven't focused on what songs she's made. I don't even know any of her songs I guess I'll choose Taylor Swift I mean Taylor Swift seems so happy I mean Beyonce seems uh, I think I think people would more ch no, I'll choose Taylor Swift oh wow look at that 50 50 would you rather pee a marble or poop a football what does this mean you can't have surgery to remove them, or you can deflate them a ball. It doesn't matter. That's weird. Okay, so obviously... Didn't we do this one before? I feel like we have. But I'll do it again. Obviously, both would hurt a crap ton. How would you even have enough strength to pee out a marble or a football? Or poop a football? Mar, I think the Marvel would hurt the most. Just because they'd have to open. So, well, for girls, I think it would be much more easier. But for guys, it would hurt a lot. The Pope of Football should be hurting for both of, for the both genders. Well, maybe. I don't know. I think peeing the Marvel would be hurt a lot. Because they'd have to open so much. But same with the football. But I feel like maybe could handle I can't I, like thinking about it doesn't make it weird but thinking about it just makes you think I don't know which one would be better I think pee a marble okay good people chose I think pee a marble might have been it I think I'd rather do that okay would you rather change your religion or change your political party? Political party. Of course. Of course. Political party. I don't know why I thought about that. Um, would you rather have Robin from Batman as a sidekick or have Jar Jar Binks from Star Wars as a sidekick? Well, Jar Jar Binks isn't very brave, is he? At least Robin would try and do something. I mean, I watched Teen Titans, so I've watched it. Until they made a worse person. Okay. Um, Jar Jar Binks seems resourceful, but not very brave in a combat situation. 
Robin actually has some sort of skill. Let's use Robin. Okay. Okay. If you ever if you ever played football for a living, would you rather play quarterback or play linebacker? I don't know football, okay? Isn't quarterback I don't know, linebacker No, I'd suck as a quarterback. Even if I'd played it even if I played it as a living. I think I'd just be a linebacker. Forget about it. People would rely on me to do good if I was a quarterback. Would you rather die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become a villain? Die a hero. Yeah, hero. Would you rather be permanently muted or amputate one of your arms? Well, I could always, I could always learn sign language. I don't want to amputate one of my arms. I think it'd be better to be mute. I mean, I could get one of those things that talk for me. I can, you know, sign language. Sign language is fun. I mean, not that I know nothing about it, but no. Uh uh. I think permanently it would be better. I would not want to have you take one of my arms for that. Would you rather be a high school or below teacher or be a college professor? Hmm. Hmm, college professor. Hmm. College professor. I don't know. I kind of want to be like a, either a middle school. I'd rather be a middle school teacher or an elementary school. Ah, the kids would be kind of annoying. Maybe a high school teacher. I'd, I'd choose that. Okay, if you want to be a college professor. Alright then, whatever. Would you rather become a Spartan from Halo or become a cog from Gears of War. Now, everyone knows that Halo's better and... Yeah, see, look at that. <laughs> Get out of here. I haven't played Gears of, War, Gears of War either. So, yeah. Would you rather listen to only one song for the rest of your life or listen to no music for the rest of your life? Well, I kind of listen to one song over and over again just to try and memorize its lyrics. But to listen to it for the rest of your life, that'd be just freaking annoying. It'd be like the only thing that'd be in your head constantly, 24-7. It'd be better than listening to no music. I know some people who are music lovers would probably listen to one of their favorite songs for the rest of their life. But eventually it'll get annoying. So I think I'll choose to listen to no music. Music's not everything to me. I just listen to it because I have it. So, yeah. If it, yeah. Okay. Would you rather have a very attractive spouse that treats you badly... Or have an ugly spouse that adores you. Well, just having an attractive spouse would just keep you going and make you forget about all the bad things she's doing to you. Or he's doing to you. The fact that that girl is so pretty would just let would just make you be with her forever. And they just ignore her. Which wouldn't be bad, but it also wouldn't be good. Having an ugly person at Dorothy, that'd be better, because at least if y'all get married, or, yeah, yeah, if you're married, well, your marriage would be good, is what I'm trying to say. Your marriage would always stay good. I mean, if you choose badly, eventually you would get annoyed, and then you would eventually try, and then y'all would argue eventually, and then everything will be bad. So I think this would be the best thing. Okay, that would be the best thing. Okay. Would you rather lie every time you are asked a question or tell the truth every time you're asked a question? Now. Tell the truth. Lie. I kind of lie. I kind of lie every now and then, but... If it makes me... If I'm comfortable with the question, then I'll ask. I'll answer it honestly, but... If it's like a weird question that you don't hear on a daily basis, then I probably would lie and try to not really answer it the right way. Well, telling the truth could become a disadvantage pretty soon. I'll tell the truth. Why not? Honesty is the best policy. <laughs> if you were in high school, would you rather... Have your face covered in severe acne. I am in high school, by the way. Um, or be extremely fat. Now, 
I was just thinking right now, if I, it'd be better to be fat, because at least you could work work out and like get rid of it, instead of having your face covered in acne, because really, they really have not really made some sort of medicine that gets rid of acne completely. So, at least extremely fat, you can actually get rid of it. I was going to say that being fat would be better, but I don't really work out that much. Well, I would, you know. I would work out. You can't suddenly work out or use different soap. Okay. Wait, wait, it said you can't simply work out. Oh my gosh. Well then, we use different soap. Well then, I would have chosen this one then. My bad. I didn't know. Okay, you have to read that info thing. Would you rather be a part of real Jurassic of a real Jurassic Park scenario or be a part of a real day after tomorrow scenario? I don't know what scenario is. I don't know what day after tomorrow is. I mean, Well, Jurassic Park, I mean, there's dinosaurs and shit, you die. What is this? In Jurassic Park, you would fight to survive a dino takeover, and day after tomorrow, you would fight to survive a catastrophic climate change. To survive. Hmm. Climate change. That'd be way less difficult, right? Depends on where you are in the climate, but, um. I was thinking about, well, if a real Jurassic Park scenario, there would be places where you could scavenge things. But, uh, I'm just going to go with this. Oh, my gosh, fine. I think, I, th I don't know. Okay. Would you rather work recycling human poop, work recycling human poop for the rest of your life, or work with dangerous and explosive chemicals for the rest of your life? Now, as a gamer, I think you'd know what I choose, but it'd be very dangerous. Wait, am I not allowed to wear... You wouldn't have to touch people at all. The chemicals are known for taking off entire limbs frequently. So, it doesn't say I can't use, like... A, like, some sort of mask to not be able to smell it. So, yeah, that'd be the best. What? You guys, oh, come on now. These, these, oh, jeez. Well, I guess it would be like different types of poops and diarrhea and different colors. Okay, maybe that would be bad. But only for those who like throw up easily or gag or something. But I don't, so I'd choose that one. Would you rather ski in the mountains or vacation on the beach? So it's basically asking cold or hot. And I love the heat, so vacation on the beach. And plus, I haven't been to the beach. Well, then again, I haven't been skiing on the mountains, so. Um, okay. Would you rather be a famous athlete in the Olympics, known around the world, or be a famous actor known only in America? Athlete in the Olympics, an actor. Who's an actor? Well, I think actors are get more attention than athletes in the Olympics. But it says known around the world, only in America. America's pretty big, though, you know, I think... A lot of people come visit too from all over the world, so they just know. I think I'll choose the famous actor. I don't think I'd pass off as an athlete. Would you rather have Reddit take up 90% of your day or have 9gag take up 90% of your day? Now, I don't know about both of these. I should skip it. Um, I think I've heard of Reddit, but I don't exactly know what it is. Would you rather be melted in acid or to be skinned alive? I think both would hurt. What is this? You are alive for the entire process and would die at the end of it. Okay, so guaranteed death is what it's saying there. But, um... Alright, this is gonna be the last one. Um, they, they'd both hurt a crap ton. Hurt. That'd be the main thing is that it hurt. Okay. I think being skinned alive, you'd feel the most pain. I mean, at least melted in acid, it'll burn but being skinned alive it would like hurt all over and being melted in acid would be burned every few body parts i think i'll choose this one there we go okay so this was either guys i'm gonna do more episodes sorry i haven't been recording i just needed to record something so i recorded this um uh yeah i'll be doing an update video soon to just say what's going on so yeah see you guys in the next one talk think out love you